Good morning. It is Monday. James is just playing. I am folding some laundry. Peter is starting his work day. It is the first day um, of the month, like for business. <laughs> so I know it's going to be a busy day for him. I have already called our clinic this morning to let them know I got the results and to see. Well, one, I definitely need a lab order to get my blood work done again today. That was going to be the case regardless of my number. So have to see those numbers rising, doubling actually after 48 hours. Um, my progesterone did look good, but it was on the lower end of good. So I'm curious to see if they'll put me on that too. But today I won't actually get results. From this blood test it's not like when i go to my clinic and since the same day because i'm doing an outside lab um so it's not really like a big day in that sense because we won't know until tomorrow so i'm just trying to be calm just you know do what i need to get done today and just be positive so that is where i am at and as i was enjoying jamesy boy crawled all the way over here oh gosh he does more of an <laughs> arm and crawl. <laughs> Hi, honey. Jamesy. Are we going to have a good day? <laughs> <laughs> are out and about. I heard back from my clinic and the orders are to just get another draw done like we had planned originally. Um, I did send them my progesterone, which was in a normal range, but on the lower side, but they didn't prescribe me anything. So I think right now we're confident with that. Um, yeah, I just picked up the lab order from my sister. She has a printer, I don't. So we have that. Um, I had posted on Instagram this little question box to ask if people had similar experiences with low beta numbers on our like infertility page. And I had so many responses and it really boosted my confidence and just gave me a lot of hope that we're gonna stay positive and everything will be great. Um, we have so many of you guys pulling for us. We have our angels pulling for us. The timing of this all, you just can't, can't question it. So, I'm feeling better mentally, still nervous, but care about something, you're nervous about it. So I'm headed to the train now to get the blood, like the blood drawn. And then I'll be going back home. Peter has um, a lot of work. He'll probably be working until the evening. So this might be the most exciting part of our day. That's how I feel right now. I never listen to jazz music. And I was like, I, I need like calming noise because today's business day one and I had somebody on my team um, got a new job at a different company. So she left and she was like a, a crucial piece to business day one reporting. So not only is it always busy for myself and the rest of my team, but we're also dispersing like her reports amongst my team. And then there's like this other thing going on with the Hawaii region right now about reporting that we're working on. It's just, I cannot believe it's already one o'clock Eastern time. And I know I'm not gonna be done at four. I have a meeting at four Eastern about changes we need to make to a report that has to go out today. So if I'm having the meeting from four to five, there's no way I can have the meeting about the changes from four to five and also implement the changes by five Eastern. So who knows how long I'm going to be working, but my brain is like fried. Still cranking away at reports. 
running low on coffee. I've started burning a Christmas scented candle to raise the spirits. And I also have some of my favorite ultra marathon videos going on in the background. Sarah left with James to go do another beta test, blood work test. So I just need this day to be over. Let me clarify. I want this work day to be over. Afterwards, even if it's late, we have to do something fun and exciting. So we will. Look at this big kid. I feel like he started eating salads and we stopped yeah, vlogging. Yeah, like I got the clip of him eating the black beans? Yeah, oh yeah. And then like that was like one of the first days we weren't vlogging. So now he just eats whatever we're eating, plus some sort of puree. He didn't do so great with baby led weaning. He's just is too excited for food. You can look, tell by the look in his eyes. And he's got four teeth, so it was really easy for him to just like chomp down. So we like the spoon, we like puffs. We got some, I don't even know what this is, like black bean couscous salad that I made from a Mediterranean cookbook we have. We're finally back in the swing of like grocery shopping and actually planning out meals and stuff. So hopefully I will share more of that coming soon. Oh, no. We all took a nap. What's that? Is that a Jamesy boy? You gonna he was, get him? He was sad until he saw himself. Whoa. We all took a little afternoon snooze. Oh, God. Jamesy boy. Wow. Are you already pumping your legs? Look at this kid loving that swing. Look at this kid loving that swing. Oh. oh no. I think we've been to this, we've vlogged to this park once before. It's this little itty bitty, like the size of one house. With, oh gosh. Mama got you good? Look at that hair. <laughs> You're the cutest kid in town. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. He's run, got run, more run. hair today. He does, yeah. <laughs> Look at this big kid. This park has like yard toys and stuff. Hey, you got, you got a wheelbarrow? What, what, what <laughs> wagon. Is this? A wagon? You got a wagon full of wood chips? Wow. Somebody feed, somebody feed. Bill put us on a story. Yeah, yeah. You're hitting us. Yeah, that's our son. Our son's more famous than us. Phil wants to hang out with you, James. What do you think? What do you think, Jamesy boy? He's busy. He's behind in a bunch of work. He's got a ton of stuff to do. Whoa. He's a very nosy kid. Let's walk this way. He wants to play <laughs> with anyone he sees. Look at you go, honey. Hey, hey, hey. His name is Jamesy Boy. He's the cutest kid. He loves to dance. Bum, 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 bum. Shake it out. Dance it off. Shake it out. Dance it off. Hey, 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 hey. And Shake it off. In two weeks, we'll be watching Halfway Out Yeah. We have to go to the store to get diapers and wipes, but we also have just decided we might stay for four weeks in Florida instead of two weeks. <laughs> Gotta see how the Airbnbs look, but we yeah. might stay through the middle of September. And we said in our first vlog back that we had like all these trips planned. Well, like that night, we like looked at the calendar and we're like, I forgot the Chicago Marathon is October 10th. And we have Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness ticket in Chicago, October 19th. So like our whole mid September I it was to mid October. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Oh our no, whole, it's 19th. Because it's our whole mid September to mid October plan oh, just got blown up. Yeah. So and I was very we gotta sad recalibrate. Night. Yeah. <laughs> and we gotta 
We gotta figure it out. So we might do a four weeker now. But we'll definitely, like at least we'll definitely be there in August and we'll definitely be there for wine and dine and dopey. It's just the in-between we gotta We're trying to figure out if we can swing the 50th or some section of October to get some more Halloween vibes. Look at this Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> at our neighborhood, Jewel Osco should be a quick one. Diapers and wipes. Diapers and wipes, people. Look at this work life. We got little women on so we can get Wilderness Lodge vibes. Yeah, the music is the same. You can hear it in the lobby at the Wilderness Lodge. Sarah put James down because I am working and she's about to edit the vlog. Yeah, we're both, we're just workaholics. But I'm actually done. I'm writing a final email and sending a report out. Uh, Sarah and I talked like I had all this, I worked to do. Sarah and I were talking about how I have worked tonight, but I never told her, like, I'm assuming she thought it was like the past two, three nights of like, whenever I say I work late, it's like long and late, where tonight, like, it wasn't too bad. I just had to do an, uh, just send like a report modification to a, a team for the uh, morning. Yeah. The daily message, I have not done this in a long time. Not how long, but how well you have lived is the main thing, Seneca. It's not as late as I thought it was gonna be. Well, tomorrow morning we'll have our results. Hopefully it'll be in the morning. It was, it was the other day. <laughs> yeah. Our plan will be to put on social media though. So you won't have to wait for a full day for another vlog. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.